Hello beautiful people, hello beautiful darlings. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Baba Lucy Bay. I am a South African booktuber and today we are doing a book haul. I'm so excited about this book haul because I haven't bought any of the books. I actually haven't bought any books this year um, if you remember I did say I wasn't going to buy any books until I finished reading all the books I bought last year I bought a lot of books last year which I haven't read yet and they are on the list of the books I'm supposed to read this year if you remember I did say I was going to read 40 books and to update you guys I I'll get there <laughs> And I hope that by the end of the year, I will I would have um, read all the 40 books that I said I would read. So I would like to thank a very good friend of mine, Matabomoa, who sent these books to me. Matabomoa is um, the author of What Other Choice Did I Have? And I did a review on it. I will put the link for you to, to see the review. And hopefully you guys will buy the book. Um, so without wasting any time, let's open this package and see what books we have. So the package is with me. Matabo um, sent me an, a message on WhatsApp to say that, Hey girl, you know, um, thank you for doing the review on my book. I've got a few books that I would like to send to you. She actually said, I've got a book. To send to you but when I got the package I realized that it wasn't just one book but other books so I opened the package but you know I just to check what was inside so now I am officially opening this package to see exactly the books that we have inside so let's do it uh, so we have um, Four books that um, Matabo sent to me. So the first book I got from Matabo is The Keeper of the Coom by Sylvia Vollenhoven, um, who is a journalist um, telling us about her life of discovering um, her herself through her ancestral background. So I am... Um, Quite excited about reading this and letting you know what this book is all about but um, I sense that it's something to do with the ancestors because it's been said that um, um, Sylvia tells the story of her life and how it's been turned upside down by an ancestor Kabu a Bushman storyteller and revolutionary so it's something to do with her life and um, discovering herself as um, a Bushman descendant. So yeah, <laughs> I think that's what the book is about. So the second book is Confessions by my label, Old John Cindy. And about the book um, reads here, the pain of being raped as a child and of being called a prostitute as a teenager left me depleted and imprisoned by my own thoughts and judgment. The pain whispered a subliminal message into my subconscious mind that said, you are not worthy. And as a result, I've spent almost half of my lifetime believing that. I smoked my lungs out, drank alcohol as if there was no tomorrow. However, that's not who I am now. I am not my past. I am not my pain. And I am definitely not my mistakes. This book is designed to help anyone who has been through any type of pain or struggle to discover who they truly are. It is designed to teach you how to use your mess, pain and struggle to build unwavering faith. It is aimed at transforming your life as well as to elevate your relationships um so this is our second book and i think i'm going to like this book although rape stories just whew, um 
they're so painful and they get me so angry but let's see how this book goes and i will definitely review this for you our third book um a very nice and short um very nicely designed book the undying spirit of a woman three by mbalente kulu she says for the laughter i've shared with friends and special people around me for the times i cried together for the times i wanted to reach out to the broken and sad for entertainment for the heroines that needed cheering on for the goodbyes i have said and those i have had to say for my ladies and I, for when we needed reminding how awesome we are, for guidance, for giving back hope, for inspiration, for love, sharing, for taking a hand and saying, let's embark on a journey. The Undying Spirit of a Woman 3 has once again packaged it all together for every reader that comes across to find courage, strength, and motivation to go on and what better way to do that than through poetry? My ladies hold a special place in my heart. I'm truly grateful for the chance to convey these messages through poetry. And nothing would make me happier than realizing that through reading this, they are inspired to get up and find themselves, realize their true worth, recognize and fully utilize their true strengths, love themselves unconditionally, and spread the same love all around them. I'm quite excited to read this poetry book because I like poetry. Poetry is nice. Um, so our fourth and final book is Personal Intelligence by Steve Frommulen. And this one is about changing the mindset. And I think I'm going to like this book because I also um, want to implement like a change in mindset and a bit of change in a few habits that I have so that I can become a better version of myself. So this book says, exponential growth is disrupting everything from the clumsy old fashioned systems that used to run the world to our core beliefs. It's an understatement to call these evolutionary shifts mere game changes. Anything and everything is possible. Scientific beliefs about the human mind have been obliterated by new research into brain plasticity, transforming conventional psychological wisdom. We now know that the human mind is a collection of habits acquired and reinforced over our lifetime. These habits can shift, and right now, they must. This book examines the preparations necessary for you to take advantage of progress and includes an eye-opening self-analysis process, which will reveal what's really important to you. Your purpose, which you will decide, will translate into your life work and your fit in the future. Quite excited about this book actually really really excited um and it looks like it's gonna be a very quick read and i hope some of the things are going to be useful to me so yeah that's our fourth book so darlings that was the end of our book haul and i'm super excited about these books because i feel like they are going to change my life in a certain way and i'm quite excited to reading this because they they seem to be um very quick reads and they are part of the 40 books that i want to read this year so quite excited about that um so without wasting any time please do the right thing people like comment and subscribe to my channel so that you and i can talk about these books and i will see you on my next video so bye